would you sum that up, Justin? Uh, oh, disappointing again. You know, I thought we worked really hard to give ourselves, a, you know, put ourselves in a good chance to win the game at half time. Obviously, four nil up, and then um, you know, just a little dumb thing with a sort of hand at the ground, just relieving pressure too easily, unfortunately. So I think we won some key moments in the first half, and we didn't in the second again. So um, look, if I'm honest, there's a lot to like. You know, the Will Smith chase down the back far corner, and Tino, and you know, there was plenty of plenty of things to like, but not the result. <laughs> You made some key position changes. How do you think they played out? Yeah, I thought AJ was brilliant. I think he's probably the best player on the field. I thought he just looked lively the whole game. Um, Will Smith, you know, tried tried so hard and brought that, I guess, that sort of experience to our side, which was really good. And um, yeah, I thought the, you know, the right moves to make. Uh, we just uh, didn't didn't win. How's David? Yeah, he's something with his knee. I think it's medial. Um, you know, and even with him, I just thought, you know, we need impact from him. He's not, he's not, you know, your sort of standard player. He's one that can offer big impact. So that's why I went with Andy to worry about interchanges. So that's why I sort of let the early part of the game sit out. And I'm um, obviously not not expecting him to not be able to play a big part in the back end of the game. I thought if he's fit and right, you know, we're a chance of, you know, well, I thought the moves were, you know, what we had to change was right, but we just um, just couldn't withstand them forever. Defended so bravely, you know, a couple of good kicks from just just a good footy side, and they were the better side, obviously. So sorry, just with Dave, did he bring it into the game? No, 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 okay, no. So no. It happened um, yeah, late in the first half. He sort of got it strapped up, and then he might have yeah, heard it further in the second half. I'm not sure yet. People are probably struggling to understand why you're playing him off the bench and starting Kevin Proctor. Like he wants to play 80 minutes, he wants to start. Yep. What's the reason? Behind? Yeah, as I said, I think he's more an impact. You know, I'd rather he's sort of 60 minutes be full of quality and, you know, um, rather than sort of get gassed and try and push him to 80 just for the sake of it. You know, I think um, that's sort of where we run the back half of last year and, um, you know, we had some good joy. And uh, look, Luxury, you know, Penrith they haven't done it for a few weeks, but they used to always play kick out 30, get him off, get him back on. So he'd only ever play 60 minutes for a lot of games the last couple of years. But um, when your side's winning and playing well, you don't sort of highlight. So, and, and if I did that tonight, we had a couple of middles. Look, Herman SES, he hadn't played. Um, Sam Lasani can't play big minutes. So um, I'd like the luxury of starting Dave, getting him off and back on. But then you've got to worry about your middles. Look, we're running. Yeah, Tino played huge minutes for us tonight. And that's what puts them under pressure. So I thought it saves an interchange if we can just get KP to start it. And as I said, look, at you know we could have been sitting here really happy with that move if, if Dave stays out and finishes the game. But the fact that he got injured and, and couldn't play a part in it really um, makes it even harder. What are your main messages to the playing group now, Justin? Yeah. It's two wins for heading into round nine. Yep, yep. We're going to keep working hard now, you know, like... Plenty of people say, you know, you, you play Penrith tonight and you get close if you play like that next week, you know, you can win. And, you know, we we have to just... Every game's different, so we can't assume that. You know, we, we thought we were close and then last week we got blown off the park. You know, we gave away too many penalties against Cowboys, dropped the ball too much and we were never a chance. So we're not going to treat it like, you know, we're close, we're close. We're going to treat it like we're going to come in Monday and, and keep working hard because, um, yeah, look... There was a lot to like tonight, um, but we can't assume that that just rolls into next week. That, that's our biggest um, thing that I spoke about and, and that the boys are, are well aware of, and, and they all agree, which is great. So we've got a real good group there. We're not getting the wins that we want. Um, we know we've got to get on a run, uh, and I'm confident we can do it. We've just got to make sure we turn it up um, and, and continue on the way we did this week. You know, we had a great week, and we just didn't get the result tonight. But I thought, you know, to, to concede sort of just a couple of tries off, off kicks and a little offload, I thought defensively we, we held quite well, and we just got to keep working on here, getting our attack flowing. Gino, what are you sort of experiencing out there? How do you sort of see the games unfolding? Yeah, well, obviously tonight was um, better than last week. The, um, all the boys, you know, they worked hard today and showed a lot of urgency. And, um, you know, what Justin said, we're going to back it up next week. And, you know, it's better to play on a side that's, you know, working hard and, you know, they got your back when last week we didn't really have any of that. And, yeah, it's um, good signs, but there's a lot of things that we need to work on. 
is a disappointment in the space of sort of eight minutes in that first, the second half, like the game's mm. essentially gone from there, like the Penrith aren't really going to give a lead up like that again? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, it was just, I guess we do it to ourselves, you know, I guess, is in that second half, there's just, you know, errors and penalties is what, you know, is what's letting us down the most, and if we can stop that, we'll, uh, we'll still be in the game, but, yeah. Um, Nathan sort of spoke a bit about Toby and wanting him to just keep at it. Like, yeah. how, how do you see him out there at the moment? Like, he had a few errors tonight. He's trying hard, but it's wanting yeah. to be a bit of a tough season. Yeah, I thought he was better tonight. You know, obviously, um, a couple of errors there, but he's only going to get better. You know, he's only still young, and you know, it's a part of growing as a player. Is um, you know, to have moments on that where you can look back and you know work on that and keep improving each week. And as long as he's doing that, and you know, as long as we you know keep his confidence up and tell him to keep working hard, it'll be good for us in the long run. Justin, you sort of look at your key positions in hindsight now. You're wishing you went in with a bit more experience around them. No, I think that the hard thing is that you know what we train pre-season. You know, AJ gets ruled out going into round one, and then JC gets an injury halfway through game three. So our seven six one after eight games have, have played one and a half games together. So um, that is not ideal. Um, but I think you know. Tonight's show, just getting you know AJ back to, to one and, and getting Will Smith's experience. You know, Will played round one for us there and, and did a really good job. So um, yeah, look, I think that's that's obvious. That's the area we've got to get right because our middles, that, mate, they they are trying so hard. Our outside backs were brilliant again tonight. Like this, it's it's those key positions that yeah, I mean we we need them to to be playing better collectively and we have to now because we're in you know. A bad spot. They're, they're all available for selection tonight, right? Like you could have picked Jaden tonight. Yeah, yeah. But as I, as I mentioned to you during the week, he had his first game back um, last week, but he was crook going into the game, so he was well underdone. Um, so he just needs to get a couple of games in and get his confidence firing, and and then he'll come back into to the mix for sure. So, but he's got obviously um, get himself completely right, play well, and then he's back in. Thanks. 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 Thanks.